Hi all! Let's jump into a demo of one of the key features of AG2 0.7 release, real-time agent using WebRTC. Hi there! AG2 here, how can I help you? I want to travel. What's the weather in Seattle and Sydney? The weather in Seattle is cloudy, and in Sydney it's sunny. Okay, but what about the temperatures? The temperature in Seattle is 16 degrees Fahrenheit, and in Sydney, it's 30 degrees Celsius. So which one would you recommend for some surfing? If you're looking for warm and sunny weather, Sydney would be a great choice for some surfing. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a great time. And there you have it. Real-time agent running natively in a browser using WebRTC. As a bit of background, WebRTC enables real-time voice, video, and data directly from a browser. It doesn't require any plugins, so it makes it easy to incorporate voice into web-based applications. It also features low latency and adaptive quality. You'll find the related blog post on the AG2 website and the link to the repository for the demonstration in the notes below. This is how it worked. To start with, the browser requested a short-lived token and together with an ephemeral key from the OpenAI REST API, a secure connection was established between the browser and OpenAI's real-time API. The real-time agent also had a connection to the OpenAI API so it could support the conversation. I'll run you through the steps to set up the demonstration in your environment. First, you'll need to clone the repository. Then set up your OpenAI API key in an OAI config list file. Be sure to use the newer OpenAI's key format, starting with SKA Proj. Then I'd recommend using a virtual environment. Install the dependencies, which includes AG2. Now you can start your server, which will set up quickly. Once that's ready, click on the Start Chat link to open it in your browser, and you can start chatting right away. Feel free to play with the code in the main.py file to change the AG2 workflow and functions available to the real-time agent. And that's it. Thanks to the community and contributors that made this release happen.